Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Sarab and uh, in this video we are going to look into the month of November for you Capricorn uh, Sun, Moon and also rising, Capricorn, Sun, Moon and also rising <clears throat> and uh, if you do uh, want to support the channel all that you got to do is just uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe for it or if you do want to have a personal reading with me, you can always uh, go to my website as well, uh, which link you're going to find in the description uh, down below. So with that said, let's uh, draw and see what you have. All right. So for the first uh, first card for you, Capricorn, that's going to be the five of uh, wands, followed by uh, the second card here, which stands as the queen of cups. Moving on next, uh, we do have uh, the Hermit and uh, the final one that's going to be a Judgment. So a very important person shows up for you and that's going to be the main thing about your month. Now that may be someone you already know. Uh, if that's the case, uh, then you and that individual just can't get on the same page, at least for now, but things are going to significantly improve after the start of the month of November, the first week or so. Uh, according to the cards themselves, though, uh, it could be also someone that you uh, not know at the moment. And uh, if that's the case for you, then you are trying to get such a person, whether to work with, to love with, or, or to be a friend with, it's just you can't find one where, alas, you know, such a comes about. And like I said, after the first week, week and a half of uh, November, that person is going to consume and occupy uh, most of your time, most of your mind as well, most of your thoughts and uh, most of your capabilities. And that's not going to be a bad thing. Uh, and towards the middle of the month, just from the overview here, uh, it does look like that you are going to pretty much have a full picture on what that person for you is and how to fit that person in your life. Uh, but starting up the month here, uh, that's going to be with the Five of Wands. Uh, the catalyst is going to be the Ace of Cups. And yeah, the start of the month, it's not ideal. It's not great. It's uh, I would say it's, it's actually awful. Because with these two that we do have, Five of uh, Wands with the Ace of uh, Cups, they show that these are, uh, there are going to be an unexpected aspects that you are not gonna like. I mean at all. Uh, that could be an uh, unexpected turn of events that you are not gonna like at all. That could be an unexpected change of opinion or rather like change of heart of someone like that person here, especially if you know each other. Well, only if you know each other that you are not gonna like at all. It is just these are kind of like a Mm, how can I put it into words? It's not even a hassle. These are not even a hassle. These are straight away predicaments that you are going to see into those um, surprising events that are going to take place. A and many of them, by the way, are going to happen to be uh, literally reversals into a situations that you are building up so carefully. OK, so that's why I said at the start of the reading, before even knowing that we are going to have the Ace of Cups here, is that you are not very much on the same page with that person. I'll take it that way. Are you someone that you are flirting with or you are straight away going to date with and suddenly out of nowhere, you know, they say that they don't want to do that. They uh, they think in a in a such a way for something that you don't agree about and kind of like that stuns you kind of like this uh, or, or rather like they tell you. I like you, but you know what? I'm going to go and work thousand, um, thousand miles away from you, no matter that, you know, I, I want to be with you. Yeah, I want to be with you, but kind of like I want to be better, more. I, I want to be more in a better job or, or something like this, you know, something that you never, never expected. Uh, and uh, th that's why the start of the month is going to be rather 
underwhelming, that is to say the least, um, for you that is. And the best thing you can do here is just make the most out of it. That's that's literally the advice that the cards uh, have for you. But I don't want to bullshit you around. Uh, you are definitely going to feel like your heart is emptied. You're definitely going to feel like nothing. I, I mean, you're going to feel like there is nothing more to it. Uh, from there on moving forward, which, by the way, uh, I think that you are wrong about it. That is because the next card shows uh, the Queen of Cups, uh, which is going to be catalyzed with uh, the Strength card. And it does look like that for one or another reason, uh, your behavior based on these not uneventful but let's say unhappy events are gonna get the better of uh, this individual that these events are about uh, are because right are caused because of that individual's actions or saying um and or attitude that is and uh, it does look like that they're gonna lose their temper in a sense of that you basically you're not going to see them in the same light that you know them by that point for example if they given an impression that they don't care what you think it's going to show up that they do and in fact they do more than you know if uh, they, they show that yeah they like you or rather like they love you or they want to work with you but not that much or rather like it, it, it's just something they want but it is not like something they are going to do anything about is gonna uh, your behavior is going to prove them wrong here as well and in other words <clears throat> towards the middle of the month because of your behavior and how you take on those unpleasant surprises that you have been served of and straight away you have been fed off uh this individual is going to kind of like for once probably gonna start understanding you they're gonna start kind of like putting your shoes walking a mile and back and uh, then kind of like rendering a verdict or rendering an opinion or in generally a doing something and what this is going to pretty much do for you for what those cards are showing is that it's gonna open up the heart of that person uh, it's gonna open it up entirely and uh, and fully and they're gonna be like a toddler in front of you it's just not being able to withheld any emotion whatsoever and again i want to emphasize on any emotion whatsoever they don't have to be necessarily positive it is entirely up to you what you're gonna make of those emotions what kind of emotions you are going to plant into uh, into this individual here. But definitely they are not going to be able to kind of like uh, maintain composure, so to speak, um, <clears throat> from those couple of cards. And another thing, uh, when you are going to recognize that this period is starting to happen, it is when they are kind of like seeking more often than not your opinion. Up until this point, they they pretty much made you a victim of the circumstances right they are telling you what they did uh, after they did it and uh, now they are actually gonna start asking you are you okay doing that what do you think about if i do this and and so on and so forth and that way if nothing else you know if a romantic relationship is impossible at that stage or business partnership is impossible at that stage at least you are going to win someone as a very very good friend as a really really uh, loyal companion and that happens toward the middle of the month and right after that uh the hermit takes place which is going to be catalyzed with uh, the queen of pentacles those uh those two cards they form just only one word here and that is rebuilding okay uh whatever well, you cannot catch up time, but I would say that way, whatever potential in between you and that individual have been wasted, it's going to be made up again. And uh, I think, well, with those two cards, I think that you are going to see each other in a light you, you never saw before. Uh, and uh, that is going to define a, um, 
uh, a new direction that you will decide to walk into. Uh, just a very quick example, if by that point you just worked together, you are doing some kind of a task together, now very possible that you may see each other as a husband and a wife or as a uh, friends, like I said, well, that's pretty much given, but still, up until this point, you may not see each other as a friends and now as a friends. Um, it could be also reversed that you are together and you suddenly see each other, that you can do business with something. It's just, it's, it's going to be a, a wasted potential beforehand because of the disagreements, because you couldn't kind of like uh, set, it, uh, set each other on the same page. And now that, you know, that is past you rather like um, is behind your back. Now that unfound potential can be established and, and you can start developing, uh, moving forward. Now, at that particular stage, uh, it's going to be imperative that you do address that situation with intelligence and wisdom. I mean, uh, because now the situation in between you and that individual is going to be better than anything you have experienced up until this point. Uh, even some of you may not even believe it. It's going to be very easy for you to, 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 to sway down the emotional path, you know, and for example, out of love, do something, or you know, out of hatred, depending on how you set up the emotions, do something which is going to be and I'm sorry saying it, but one of the most stupid things if you have done, for example, that person tells you something you don't like and straight away because out of rage, you name things and so on and so forth. And it's going to set you on a path that, you know, there is no going back from. So be very, very certain whatever, you know, establishment you want to do in between you two is something that you can live with. Uh, that is after the middle of the month, uh, moving forward, the uh, the second half of the month. And uh, by addressing it or acting towards the interaction in between you and that individual with wisdom and intelligence, is going to set you on the best path possible. That's going to be a path that certain people or almost everyone is not going to be happy with, but you ain't going to care because it's something you will know you want. Okay. And people are not going to be happy of because literally that's not their idea. That's not what they want for themselves. But for you, what you want is what's going to matter here. And uh, for once, it does look like that you're going to do exactly what you want, what you do find substantial for yourself, what you do find important for yourself. And you are ending up here the month with judgment which is catalyzed by the seven of wands. Okay. So those couple of cards, actually they do have a hidden message. Okay. And the hidden message is that if you do, how can I put it into words? If you do think you deserve something. Okay. If you do think that, uh, you are entitled rather to, uh, to something, uh, you are obliged to make its defense and to stand its ground, not the universe, but you. Other than that, uh, end of the month is going to be like a wake up call for you, Capricorn, is because at that point you will uh, kind of like become aware or being fed at the, the, the realization of why you had to go through all that, all the disagreements, all the, um, the hectic, the hectic wavering, you know, all the sleepless nights, for example, all the aggravation and all the unpleasantries that followed up that relationship, whether business or, or intimate one. And, um, you are not going to regret it in a sense of that if it wasn't that way, it never would have come to it. That's pretty much is going to be uh, the understanding here. In other words, you're now going to have the full picture. You're going to, the whole pieces of the puzzle is going to be um, set on their places and you will have, like I said, the full picture. And um, for once, what is good for you and what you want is going to be all of the same. Or in other words, your agenda and what is best for, for the world in general uh, is going to be one of the same. And your self-righteousness is going to be aligned with the universe righteousness also. 
and uh, at the end of the month there is going to be but only one um, choice that makes sense so it's not even a choice it's a path and you are going to walk on it and with that said that is your uh, monthly reading for the month of november hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it capricorn and uh, we're going to see each other next time until then bye